up demonstrator here in the UK. I'm back for another Fun Friday Live. Hello, hello, hello to you if you're joining me live. I will just wait a few moments and see if anybody hops on with me and joins me for a bit of a Fun Friday card making session. Right, let me just stabilise my tripod a little bit. Let's put something on the base because... My camera makes it slightly top heavy. There we go. Now, I don't have my laptop today. Um, so I am just going to hope and see that I can see the comments on my camera. If you're joining me live, say hello. Say hello. Um, don't be shy. Yeah, tell me where you're from. Let me know what the weather is like with you. It is a beautiful day here. It's really, really sunny. I took the dog for a walk this morning after the school run and I'd done some errands and it was just so pretty out there. Hello, Shaz. Good morning. I can't quite catch your comments. I've got you out doing something um, because I don't have my laptop set up. My son's borrowed the charger. He ran away with it. So I need to bother him, bother him for it back. Okay, but I can see the comments as they're coming through. I just need to catch them. Um, he's working on his dissertation for his exam, so I didn't really want to um, go and grab it back off him. Right, okay, so this morning I thought we'd make a really fun card using the Irresistible Blooms stamp set. And I thought I'd make a really easy kind of card. Um, it's not from a sketch, but it's kind of a sketch idea. And you could use this for any kind of card you like, and I think you could probably use any theme, any designer series papers or anything like that to make this card. So I thought this would be a good, fun one to do on a Friday. I don't know about you, but I am super glad we are at Friday. Do let me know if you feel the same way. Okay, so I thought we would use the Irresistible Blooms stamp set and dies. And look at all the mess my papers are in. There was a reason for it. Let me just move these out of the way. And you can have a better look at these beautiful papers. You can see. So these are the papers. First of all, let me show you the stamp set. So this is the stamp set that we're working with. This is an online one. I'm not sure if this is in the new catalogue, but it's definitely available online in my Stampin' Up! shop. Uh, we have a few products that are just online, so they don't appear in the catalogue, but they're all there. Um, and this is gorgeous. So it has these really pretty blooms, lovely leaves, has this nice kind of textured background and this really fun curly font with some useful sentiments. So it's got thank you, hello, I like you. It's got a friendship one. It says I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. And then hooray, it's your day, which is great for a birthday. I've used that a few times. Right, so we're using the stamp set and then there's a die set that goes along with it. Um, which I'll show you in a second because I pulled it all out. And there are some embellishments, which I need to grab. Some frosted dots are really pretty in the colours. And these are, look how much of this designer series paper I have been using. These are the designer series papers. Okay, let me take out some of these scraps so you can have a good look at them. Oh, I think I'll be doing some of that um, scrappy strip technique with those pieces. But look how beautiful they are. They are just divine. And they've got some of our new colours in them uh, or returning colours. So you may have them um, or you may have them because they're new, but you may have them from before. And I'll go through the colours, but you might spot we've got Pretty Peacock in there. We've got Lost Lagoon, which is a returning in colour. We've got Flirty Flamingo. We've got Soft Sea Foam. And we have got Daffodil Delight. There are lots. There are 48 sheets. They're all double-sided. And they are absolutely stunning. And they have these nice prints on the back. Or just this kind of watercolour wash. So you can use... So this is kind of the splatter that's in the stamp set. This kind of pattern is one of the dies. So the whole thing coordinates really well. Um, but the really cool thing about this is that the dies cut out the papers. So we have a, let's get the dies out. We've got a very small leaf die. What have I done with them? There they are. <laughs> Here we go. 
So some of them are in the packet, most of them are out. So we've got a very small leaf die that cuts out these kind of really small leaves here. As you can see, I've been cutting them out. So that's that small leaf die, right? And then we have got the large leaf dies and I've left them attached so you can see somewhere here under all the scraps that will move out of the way. I was doing something that had a specific size to it, so I have lots of strips, which will be useful actually. So you can see I've been cutting the leaves out here. I've got lots of bits. Um, and the card we're making today uses up these bits, which is great. So you can see how I've cut these out. Oh, what have I done with those? So cut those ones, I cut those ones. Here we go. So I've left them attached because I thought that would be easier to show you. So you can see how the, this, this is, has the two leaves and it cuts that one out. Um, and then there's a the three leaf one that will cut this one out. So you can cut all of the leaves out of these papers and you get two different colorways and it cuts them all. How cool is that? So let's put those dies out of the way like that so we don't get them mixed up. And then there's the papers with the flowers on and you get a couple of different colorways of this as well. And it cuts out the large flower. I need to find some more of those. And it cuts out, what have I done the small flower die? Cuts out the small flower as well. Let me take that off there. Uh, there it is. I was using it with the stamps. So there's the small die and it cuts out, cuts the flowers out beautifully from the paper, which is really useful, really super. So we are gonna be using that. I'll need to find some more of those flowers to cut out. So in the dies, you get all of those. Now these obviously cut the stamps out as well. So if you look at the stamp set, this is really cool. It obviously cuts out the outlines of the stamps as well as the papers. So if you've used all your papers and you don't have any more left, you can just stamp them up and stamp them or do it instead of. Um, like that. Um, and then it's got these standalone dies, and these are really beautiful. I've used these to make a couple of cards, and it's got these standalone leaves as well that you can cut out. So loads of dies in the dies. Brilliant. Right, okay. So now we know where we're at. This is what I'm using. Let's have a look. So I was going to tell you the colours. I think I told you them all. We had Daffodil Delight, Fluty Flamingo, Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock, Petal Pink was the other one, and Soft Sea Foam. There we go. So what I've done for my card is I have literally just taken one of the colours of the cardstock, of the DSP, and made a card base in the cardstock. Um, and I've used... <laughs> Can you tell it's Friday? I'm just talking rubbish. <laughs> I've used Flirty Flamingo card. I haven't used any Flirty Flamingo card in years. I have no idea why I love this pink colour. But I realise that I rarely use it. But I don't know why because it's gorgeous. I think I've just forgotten about it. Oh, I am talking rubbish, Shaz. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's Friday. Um, and then I'm going to have a square on the front here. And I picked another colour out. I picked a con contrasting colour and it's soft sea foam. So those are in the papers as well. Um, this is eight and a half centimetres square. And then just to make it pop, I've got a black border. So I make that slightly bigger and nine centimetres square. So that's what we started off with. We've got an insert for inside. That's a regular card insert size. Okie dokie. So we've started, right? Next thing is I want four squares to go in here, right? Now, I've got to remember the size. Now, I'm pretty sure I made them four centimetres square. So let's grab some of this paper and have a look at what we're going to use. I need four different pieces. So that's a piece. That's a piece. Um, 
Morning, Sam. How are you? Welcome to Kate's YouTube Talking Rubbish live stream today. <laughs> oh, I am talking a load of old nonsense, but you are very welcome. There's another bit. Should we see if any of these pieces fit that I have pulled out? We have loads of paper to use, so we're all right. So let's have a look. We are going to try, see how big this piece is. I've already cut out. Uh, we want it four. I might have cut this one out earlier. So yeah, that is four square, four centimetres square. I like this piece. I've got a feeling I cut this strip out too. That is four. So I'm going to use some of the flowers from it. I cut it a bit higher up and cut out the piece I want. Yeah, we've got that at four as well. So I've got two quite pink pieces on there. So I think I'm going to go for one of these. Hello, Sherry, if you joined us. Thank you for joining us. I don't have my laptop. I'm not doing very well. I'm talking a load of rubbish. <laughs> Four centimetres for this bit. Now, will that give me much of the pattern? Yeah, I think that's enough of the pattern. I like having the top of that leafy bit. So I'll have that. On there, and then I need another bit, another piece. Now, is this going to work? I feel like it will. I think we're going to use it. It's a scrap. Let's go for it. We want four centimeters. This is a great way to use up your scraps, this card. by four. I was just having a showing it the card to see which piece of the pattern I wanted showing the most. So have any of you, I'm not doing it today, but have any of you made a card using the scrappy strip technique? Because I feel one coming on <laughs> with all the strips that I've got here from a previous card, a previous project. I think that might be one to come. So I've put those four squares on the front to see what they look like and they kind of all tone in quite well so I'm quite pleased with that because I had no idea because I have made one a practice card but I did completely different colours so that's where we're at <laughs> and now I was deciding whether or not to stamp the flowers that I'm going to put on the front or to cut them out so I actually went for cutting them out I did stamp some up to start with to see what it would look like so I'll show you I stamped and cut out one in daffodil and the smaller one in flirty flamingo and they do look really pretty and they're kind of gonna go down the bottom here but because of the kind of like almost ombre effect I decided to cut them out of the paper this is what the leaves look like this one's stamped out in um soft sea foam and this one is stamped out that's not pretty peacock that's lost lagoon so I'm just playing with it this is what it looks like when you stamp them out yeah I haven't made a strap a scrappy strip card in a long time Shaz but I feel like I might do one um and this one is cut out of the designer series paper. And these are just a couple of the leaves cut from the standalone dies. So you can have a good look at the versatility there. Um, and I think I'm going to choose to cut them out with the paper. Right, okay, so let's see what I've got. Now, if I use this, it's going to be very close to that. Let's have a look. What have I got left in here? So many pieces. There we go. That one looks like a good one because I can use that big one from the middle because there's quite a lot of yellow in it, which will give it a bit of contrast. So what else have we got? That's the same one. And then we've probably just got some leaves how pretty is it? So lovely. Um, 
that's the other one that we were looking at. Right. Okay, then. Let's leave this leaf one out. Right. Dies. Right, so here we go. So the large flower, I'm going to cut this nice big one out of the middle. I'm just going to pop it on. And I'm going to use a piece of washi, it's not a very sticky one, just to keep it secure when I pop it through my Stampin' Up! Cutting Emboss machine. Oh, my mini one around here. Oh, it's next to me. Let's try that one. I haven't used it in forever. I forget it's there and it's so handy. So what I'll do is to fit this one through is I'll cut this. I'm not going to cut any of those little leaves because that small die will cut them out. How handy is that? Go. Just need to stick that back down again now because I pulled it off. These are gorgeous, these papers. I think they're one of my current faves. Right, I haven't used this in forever. Where's the other plate? That might be why I don't know what I've done with it. <laughs> if not, we use the other one because I haven't used it since I took it. Oh, there it is, it's over there. I say, I normally keep everything together. Um, yeah, I'm wibbling today. So, it's been full on. Uh, my youngest is doing his GCSEs. We've got maths non-calculated paper today. And then after school, he's got a geography revision session for his geography exam on Monday. So good luck to all of the kids out there doing their GCSEs. This, this washi tape's got no sticky left at all. We've So far this week, we've had Ari, Catholic Christianity. We've had drama, the history of theatre. We've had English literature, Macbeth and uh, Jekyll and Hyde. We have had history including Nazi Germany and Asia. And today we have maths non-calculator. <laughs> yes. And then in the other corner, number two son is busy at home writing his dissertation. There's lots going on. Right, here we go. So let's pop it through. Oh, I do love this little machine. It's so useful. It just sits there, ready to help me out. <laughs> so I don't know where Alfie is today. The dog's normally in here with me when we craft, but he seems to be asleep somewhere. I'm doing a step challenge. I might have mentioned it before. So if you can imagine, I'm doing it to raise money for young minds. So if you can imagine... Oh, you just go to feed the chickens and collecting the eggs, Shaz. Oh my God, that sounds idyllic. I know it isn't. I know it's hard work, but it just sounds lovely in this weather to be, just go out, feed the chickens, collect the eggs. Sounds lovely. <laughs> um, I don't, can't even remember what I was talking about. I was talking about something. Oh, step challenge for young minds. Yeah, so to do 10,000 steps a day every day in May. So you don't have to do it uh, 10,000 every day, but you need to do... 310,000 by the end of May. So I'm getting loads and loads and loads of steps in on my walks. But um, if you can imagine, poor Alfie has got four legs. <laughs> so he's getting four times the amount of steps than I am. So wherever he is at the moment, he is fast asleep. Is this focusing, this camera? Hopefully it's just focusing where it needs to focus. Okay. Here we go, here come the flowers. So two from the same sheet, but they kind of got different shades and tones of the 
the paper. Actually, is it from the same sheet? Uh, yes, it's from, uh, no, it's from the two different sheets, is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's from that one, the pink one, and I got the yellow one from the yellowy and pink one. So there's two different sheets in your, in the pack of paper. This is the yellowy pink type. So that's that and that. And then we want some leaves, don't we? So leaf dies. Let's just use this one. So a two leaf. Yeah, I don't think I've got a three leaf on this one. So yes, yeah, so Alfie is very tired. That's the update on that dog. The cat, we've had to run all the bird food down on the bird table. Uh, until there's none there, I'm going to have to get rid of the bird table. <laughs> because she's only a little one. She's a year old and she's a very small cat. However, she did manage to drag a magpie through the cat flap <laughs> last week. Oh my God. It was flying around the house. It was unharmed because obviously it was big and she dropped it and we managed to <clears throat> get it outside. This magpie, it was bedlam. So she is completely mad, this cat. But... When I was out last night, my son caught her. She actually, because I thought she was trying to scale the, we've got a wooden bird table. And she was trying to scale it and she kept slipping, like a fireman's pole. And she kept slipping down it, which we thought was quite funny. You know, she wasn't getting anywhere. But when I was out last night, he watched her through the window leap onto the, it's a proper sized bird table. She's only a small cat. She leapt up onto it and she caught a small bird. She is so fast. It's unreal. She's like a blur. So he went out and scared the cat and, the you know, he just clapped and she dropped it and the bird flew away. So we managed to save that one as well. So no more bird feeding in my garden because we have a mad cat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, we love her. She's adorable, but oh my word, she's wild. <laughs> so we are cracking on with these, um, these um, flowers. Just deciding if I like that colour. I think I do. This is the other colour leaf. That's oh, the same. Yeah, magpies are, I know. I know. So basically, we, it was on the weekend and we were asleep in bed. Okay. It was not that early in, in the morning. It was probably about eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock, but we were having a long lie in. And my husband wakes me up the scent, telling me there's a bird in the house. And I'm telling, I wake up and say, no, of course there's not. It must be, you can hear it through the window. And he's insistent. So I leap out of bed. I get to the top of the stairs and I can hear, you know, when magpies chatter, that big noise. I can hear it downstairs. I'm like, you're right, there is a bird. How has a bird got in the house? So I run downstairs and in our kind of conservatory kitchen, this magpie, poor thing, is desperately trying to get out the window. I managed to shoo it, open the two open back doors and shoo the magpie out. Um, I shooed the magpie out and I was just stunned, to be fair. And I could not believe how the magpie got in. I have no idea. There is no other way in. However, my husband, who'd been awake, said he heard the cat flap. He heard the commotion. Yeah. And so she dragged the magpie into the cat flap. And then, of course, we saw her on the lawn playing with the magpie feathers. I was just like, you are insane, you are, cat. <laughs> I mean, it's just natural behaviour, but that's the story of my mad pussy cat. I mean, you wouldn't believe it. If you see the photos of her, she's this most beautiful, gentle looking, little fluffy cat. <laughs> she's, she's a psycho. <laughs> mm. Oh. So, no more bird feeding because we can't have her hurting the birds. Right, I'm using my seal adhesive for my little squares. And as I've cut them up four inches, no, 
four centimeters square and this uh, soft seafoam panel at eight and a half. There's this tiny gap that I've managed to leave to leave a nice border, if you can see what I mean. So I've just eyeballed that they're straight and I've used my seal. Your Tombow would be great as well. So I'm gonna pop this on here now. I wanted to pop it up. So I'm gonna use some of our fabulous self adhesive strips. So you could use the foam pads or you could use, we do sell the sheets of this as well, which probably would be better. But do you think, I I know I have some, but don't know where, where it is. I have an adhesive drawer and I just couldn't be bothered to rummage at the bottom. <laughs> so this is where we're at. I'll have another bit at the bottom there. These strips are fabulous for shaker cards. Really good for that. <laughs> Can you believe my cat tr bought a try to kill a magpie and then try to kill another little bird? Well, we've managed to save them both. <laughs> okay, let's take that middle piece out because it's distracting me. <clears throat> Here's our card taking shape and all we've done is use some regular square shapes and some designer series paper and the card stock that coordinates with the paper. This is the amazing thing about stamping up and this is one of the things that really drew me into it when I first got into uh, stamping up because I've been crafting way before I found out about stamping up and the fact that you can buy all the card stock and all the papers that all match in colour. Sorry, I'm not happy with the way I've stuck that down. Um, and there's no shade that's different or anything like that. It all feels cohesive. And you don't have to go shopping for 10 different pinks just to find the, the match. I mean, it's brilliant. So you could, if you're just starting off, you could get um, an ink pad, maybe Flirty Flamingo. You could get the designer series paper, a couple of the cardstock colours, and you can make a ton of cards. So, and I was scrapbooking. So for me, not having to match up all these pieces of paper was absolutely brilliant. So this is kind of what I'm going for. Um, I am gonna stick this one. I'm gonna try and make this into one embellishment. So if I stick that one on there, without covering too much of the flower. Then I'm gonna put some more adhesive on the back and pop my leaf in here. There, I'll bring the other one down here. Don't know if I need another leaf. I normally work in threes, but I don't seem to have today. I haven't forgotten Shaz, do you know what I've been doing? Shaz just said, don't forget the scrapbook session, please, Kate. I've been looking at my DSP in preparation to do a scrapbook session. Now, I haven't done a paper share yet, which is my aim. And I bought very little designer series paper from the new catalogue. Not because I don't like it, I just haven't got around to it. So, once I have a nice little stash, which is fairly soon, because I'm going to do an order for a load, um, I'm going to do some scrapbooking, because I'm really excited I can show you a little bit of what I've been doing, if you like. Um, I'll do that in a minute at the very end because I'll have to pull it out. Right, let's grab. Now, I'm going to use a couple more of these foam strips. You're excited. I love scrapbooking. Oh, I'm glad you're excited. I love it. All right, I'm going to use a bit of the foam pads and I'll show you the reason why. These are a slightly different depth, I think, to our dimensionals, the foam pads. So because I've used them on this piece, I want them all to sit at the same height. So I've put a little bit of glue here, seal, and I've put a little bit of foam pads here so that when this bit sits on there at the same height and this bit sits underneath at the same height, we'll be good. Good to go. Right. Now, I thought, what am I gonna use this card for? You could make this into any kind of card. It could be sympathy, get well, birthday, thank you, anything, couldn't it? Um, but 
I was going through my stash because I needed just a note card. Um, and a little while ago, I seemed to have tens of them and I was making them all the time. And then I thought, well, actually, I've got many of those and I'm sure people want to see something else. So I stopped making them and now I don't have any. So I'm going to use the hello, but it could easily be anything. Um, and I've already got it out on the block. And I pulled out the stylish shape dies. These are my best friend too. If you don't have these dies or something like it, you need something like this. <laughs> Honestly, you can cut out so many of your sentiments or, or do lots of card techniques. You've got squares, you've got the, what are these called, banners. You've got three sizes of the, no, you've got four sizes of the banners. One, two, three, four, five of the squares. And you've got, hang on, one, two, three, four, five of the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six of the circles and four of the banners. And they're all double stitched. So when you, sorry, when you cut them out, as you can see, I've cut one out here, you've got a stitch left on the negative. So you could use that for something else. Right, so I am going to do the hello. Hello, 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 hello. I'm going to do the hello and excuse my arm being right in the shot. Not a pretty sight. I've got to decide what colour I'm going to do the hello in. Um, now I've done one already. Where have I put it? In Flirty Flamingo. But because my base is in that, I'm not sure it's going to pop so much. And I'm going to pop it here like that. But... I have got Pretty Peacock, which I'm not going to use because that's going to be on top of that one. I have got Soft Sea Foam. I think that might fade. So I've got Lost Lagoon, but I haven't really used that anywhere. Although this is probably Lost Lagoon. So I'm going to stamp it in Lost Lagoon and Daffodil Delight. And we'll see where we end up. So Lost Lagoon, that's one of our new colours, but it's a returning favourite from previous times past. Somebody put a message up there that was held back. Maybe one of you can enlighten me what that was. So that is Lost Lagoon. I'm going to pop that through, but also I think that might fade away into the background. So, have I got room? Yeah, I think I'm going to try it in daffodil. One of you could tell me if you could see a comment there that looked like it had been retracted. Um, let's try it in daffodil. Oh, you put up a thumb, thumbs up message. Thank you, Shaz. Thank you so much. I couldn't quite see what it was. If any of you would like to give me a thumbs up, it helps my channel so very much. You have no idea. <laughs> um, I would really, really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button too. Right, I'm going to um, cut this one out. Oh, I keep grabbing my big machine and I've got my handy dandy mini boss. You know, we're selling these in the boho blue colour to the customers. I know. It's rather posh. Same price, I think, as far as I know. I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure. Right. Here we go. And I'd be very tempted, but how many cutting machines can one girl need? <laughs> Honestly. Well, that's husband wandering about. I wonder if he's going to put the kettle on. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear me hinting. So, we have got hello... Oh, I like the yellow. So tell me if you like the Daffodil Delight or do you like it in the Flirty Flamingo? Which one are we going to go for? They both work really well on there, don't they? Tell me which one I should use and I'm going to grab the Frosted Dots. So this is part of the suite. So you can buy the suite collection. And if you buy the suite collection, you get the stamps, the dies, the papers, and the frosted dots. And if you buy the stamps and dies together instead of separately, you save 10%. And if you buy the suite collection, you still get that 10% in, in, you know, incorporated into the kind of suite price. So look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? They different colored dots. 
and they make a very satisfying sound. And you get them in Flirty Flamingo, you get them in Pretty Peacock, and um, Daffodil. Daffodil Delight. Right, guys, I've missed if you voted. <laughs> Which colour am I putting on here? Um, Daffodil or Flamingo? That's what I need to know. What would you like? You're in charge. Flamingo, Flamingo. Right, Flamingo it is. We're going Flamingo. And I'm not going to pop it up because the it, it's already popped up. So we are going to keep it kind of flat. I'm going to pop it in the middle of this one here. So this could say anything. Okay, and I'm going to put some of these on. Now, I don't have any adhesive put down. I've got to decide what colour and where I'm going to put them. But... Really like them. Got two there. Hello, Inika. How are you, my lovely? Are you well? I hope you're well. I think we've got three sizes in here. Look. So that's smaller, that's medium, and that's large. So what's the bit that's going to take the time on this page? We know, don't we? It's going to be me putting on these little... <laughs> these little frosty darts. So let's find a flirty flamingo. We've got one of those. Let's find... Oh, a um, pretty peacock. And then I want a flirty flamingo. Where are you in that size? There you are. Tiny weeny things, and I pulled out my Tombow here, and I'm gonna put a little dot down, and I'm gonna probably make quite a mess. But you guys will probably do a better job than I will. <laughs> there we go. Just pop it on, and the good thing is the Tombow dries clear anyway. You could always use a tiny glue dot. Wonder what wonder if those glue dots that I had with a kit are too big. They are quite large. I missed whatever that was. You could be saying anything today. <laughs> I'll use the little uh, pretty peacock one there because it's going to contrast really well. Stick there. Stick there. Dry up. And then we'll put... Oh, I don't want to drop them all. Can you imagine? I think we'll put the flirty flamingo one there. Tweezers, maybe, are the way to go. Okay, so I've got those on there. I might put some more of those on, but not right now while I'm faddling around on, on, <coughs> excuse me, on the camera. <coughs> excuse me, right. Now, what I did do on my sample one was I did decorate the inside of it. Wherever I put that, I moved it out of the way, didn't I? Here it is. Here it is. And I brought in the stamps. And I think I brought in, I can't even remember, but I think I brought in Flirty Flamingo, so I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to stamp it. I think I'm going to stamp it off because it's quite bright, it's a newish ink pad. Right. So it kind of tones it down if you stamp and you stamp off, it'll tone down your colour. So you always get another shade, which is really useful. You can get more out of your inks by doing that. Right, 
and then pop some leaves in. Like that. Leaves are going to come in in um, soft sea foam. Right, let's fit it on. Oops, smudge that one a little bit. We won't worry. A little bit of leafage, foliage. And then I'm going to put that hello inside in the pretty peacock colour, just as a contrast. Let's give that stamp a clean. We don't want to contaminate the peacock ink pad there we go how pretty is that love it it's really pretty i'm going to use my seal because it's handy i actually prefer tombow when i'm lining up my layers but it's there there we go so there's my card for today for Fun Friday. I am quite pleased it's Friday. I don't know about you. I hope you like it. I hope you love it. It's a very simple idea, almost like a sketch if you like, because we've got a rectangle, we've got a square with another square with four smaller ones and a circle. And then our element, this element could be a circle too, but we've made it into flowers. Um, and this was my practice one that I made earlier and I made that one out of... Um, pretty peacock now you can see here the difference in the height of the dimensional foam pads and the strips so hence this one looks much better yeah by using the same adhesive on both parts oh thank you thank you very much both of you that's very kind of you i need to put some thank you shaz I do need to put some frosted dots on this one, so I'll go off and do that. But yeah, those are the cards that I have made for um, Fun Friday today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've uh, enjoyed being watching me create with the Irresistible Bloom Suite. Um, if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Oh, Inika's not well. You've got great... I can't read it because my camera is kind of stuck in the tripod over the comments. Could try again. I've moved it. Thank you, Sam. That's very kind. I hope you get well, Inika. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed watching me live. Please give me a thumbs up if you have. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in any of the products that I'm using in my lives, they are all available in my online shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. Um, I do hope that you um might like to try out my customer service and come shopping with me and find it more inspiration over on my blog stroke website inkstampshare.ink and i will be back on tuesday for coffee and cars i'll be back here at 1 p.m um in a car i will read back on the comments i hope you're okay i'm keeping everything crossed for you my lovely um and i will see you all soon thank you so much take care bye bye